Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Super Mario the SpongeBob and Cuphead plush. Now this is going to be a different video. So this is going to be our first ranking video on the channel. So we're going to be ranking a theme park, and we're going to be ranking an all ride at Universal Studios Hollywood. Now we're not including Walking Dead, Fast and Furious. King Kong, none of those. We're only including the 11 regular ride. Now, yes, I will include the studio tour, but the studio tour is not going to be included with King Kong or uh, Fast and Furious, so it's probably going to be lower. Or it would have been lower if it had Fast and Furious, but still. I will probably redo this one. Of, I will probably redo this list when... Uh, when Super Nintendo World comes out, but let's start this list in three, two, one, go. Coming at number eleven is Super Silly Funland. None of these rides are like bad or anything. So, so basically, just because Super Silly Funland is at number eleven doesn't mean it's a bad ride. It doesn't mean I hate it. It's just not as good as some of the other. Super Silly Funland is just a kiddie ride, like. Really. So basically, you basically are sitting on a bug and you just spin around in the sky. You get a nice view. But again, it's not that thrilling or anything. Nothing really amazing to say. But there's some good things about this ride. First of all, I love its theming. Beans and Tim Minions are really cool. The other Minion Drive, which we're not to it right now, so... I mean, it wasn't really anything special. Second of all, we should get that roller coaster from the Despicable Me film. I mean, that would be looked fun if it was actually in there. Seriously, it would look like incredibly fun, but still, number 11 is super silly fun land. So, let's get on to number 10. Number 10 is the Flight of the Hippogriff. Now, I love Harry Potter land. Harry Potter Land is really cool. One of the rides are amazing. I love Hogwarts Castle. But one of them, the roller coaster, is like pretty kiddish. Yeah, my two least favorite rides in the park are both kiddie rides. Now, some people would probably rank the Flood of the Hiff Curve at number 7, but yeah, 10 is for me. I mean, it is definitely better than Super Silly Funland, so I guess I can give it a point. But to be fair, even with that, it still is number 10. So, let's move on to number and 9. And number 9 is the DreamWorks Senior featuring Kung Fu Panda. Now, I like the theme. It's one of the newer rides that came out in 2018. It replaced Shrek, so... I mean, it should get replaced back in Orlando. We still have it in Orlando, but it should get replaced in Orlando. I mean... Like, in Shrek, we get a film from the movie, but in Kung Fu Panda, we doesn't, which I like, but still. The ride isn't too good, but DreamWorks Theater is really creative. I love them. But the actual ride itself isn't too good. Well, it's technically a show and not a ride, but hey, I'll call it a ride. But I mean, there's a few reasons why the ride is at number nine. I think it's better than Flood of the Hippogriff or... I think it's better than Flood of the Hippogriff or Super Silly F and Super Silly Fun Life because, well, it's steamy and good, and I like the adventure to Kung Fu Panda. And it's, well, basically, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Seriously, I really like this try. But seriously, even with that, I like the effects, but still, it's not really that fun or anything. So, yeah, coming at number 9, is it similar? And number 8 is Despicable Me. Mini and Mayhem. Now I used to rank this ride at number three, but it's not really that fun when I'm ranking. I'm not ranking the ride based on fun. So yeah, it's gonna get on number eight. Now there's a few reasons I will rank it a little bit higher now. First of all, I'm giving it like look. It would definitely be an eight out of ten. It's a good ride. But again, it's not as good as some of the other. No. Its system is really bad, actually. I don't like its system, and to be fair, I love the station theming. 
I love the theming and uh, the I like the story of the of the rye. I like the adventure with the girl, but still, I don't really am a big fan of the rye. It's a good rye. I'll still rye when I go back to the park, but still, even with that, the rye is still only at number eight. Number seven is going to get a lot of hay for this one. Number seven is the ride right next to Despicable Me. Minions. Number seven is the recent ride that came to the park, the Secret Life of Pets off the leash attraction. Now, basically, some people would probably rank this at number four, but I ranked it at seven. I mean, it is definitely better than Minions being right next to the ride, but to be fair, it's... The system is not that good. Well, it isn't bad. It's not as bad as the one in Minions, but still not that good. Now, basically, you sit in a box, and just it's an Ani Mover ride where you go from your favorite pets in the show, I mean, movies. I love the Secret Life Pets. The theming is super good. I love the theming. It's just, it's so good! But, again, not as good as some of the others. Okay, I'm sure I'm going to get so much hate for number six. Okay, okay. Number six is Jurassic World. <laughs> yes, it's at number six. I mean, it's a really good ride, but I didn't like this one as much as other people did. Simply because the water effects. I don't like getting wet, so yeah, that's the reason why I should be at number six. But other than the water effects, I don't really have anything to say about the ride. It's a really good ride. The only issue I have with the ride with the water effects, but it's a good ride. I just don't like getting wet, so I don't really have a lot to say for this one. Well, let's start off the top five. Out the top five got the studio tour. Now, the studio tour is at number five. Now, the reason for that is because I want to enjoy a ride, not a tour. I mean, it, it is really cool. I like you go around like the tour, like shh. I love that. But still, nothing really special. I love this ride. Don't get me wrong. But still, nothing special. I mean, it doesn't really hold that much comparison to some other rides. I mean, now, basically, Studio Tour is really fun. They could have been ranked I mean, it would be ranked at number four if it had Kung Fu Pan, I mean, King Kong. But it will still be ranked at number five when it had Fast and Furious. But Fast and Furious is kind of the only bad thing. But I'm not including Fast and Furious. That w if it would include Fast and Furious, then I wouldn't like that when I'm ranking right now without including Fast and Furious and King Kong. But... I mean, I could have been ranked at number four, but still be ranked at number five if I had the ride. I mean, it's a really good ride. Not as good as some of the others, but let's go on to the top Before four. we talk about number four, the last four ride we ranked is actually the family's favorite ride when we went to the park. And my dad's and my favorite is going to get ranked at number one. Coming at number four, the Transformers ride. Seriously, this ride was pretty good. It was really cool. Cool looking. It was not like a, like not a simulator ride. It's like had like the great things on the Transformer movies, which are okay, but it was really good. I don't really have anything to say. It's just pretty good. Not a lot to say. It's just good. That's the only thing I had to say for it. But still, it's good. But let's start off the top three. I mean, at yeah. number three is. Wait, number four was my mom's favorite ride, so number three is, what, like, Savage Ish's favorite ride. You see her channel, but it's Revenge of the Mummy. Revenge of the Mummy is just really fun. Good animatronics. It, it could have been ranked. I mean, Revenge of the Mummy is very short in Hollywood. Revenge of the Mummy is really more fun in Orlando. However... Ride really good. I love the coaster segments. It's just so fun. I don't really have anything to say. It's just pretty fun. But let's go into number two. Yep. 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 Number two yep. is the sit. Okay. Number two is Harry Potter and the Flemish Journey. I hope I said Flemish right. But still, 
the ride its system's really fun i love vertical i don't know how i feel wait did i just saw a face there i don't really care but the ride's still really fun the animatronics are just amazing but it just i don't really i don't want to say anything about this ride it's just so good that i don't want to spoil well it's for you so yeah but yeah number one is a disagreement yeah number one's yeah disagreement so let's get into number one. simpson i love the simpson run it's my favorite ride in the park it's so fun okay you know other mario just other mario look other mario you tell him why you tell these people why your favorite ride is simpson ride okay the reason why the Simpson ride is my favorite ride in Universal Studios Hollywood and Orlando it's because it's so fun. I love its name, its story is great. Even though it doesn't involve any simulators, there's a system is kind of lame. It is still amazing. I don't I love this ride. Seriously. If I would ever want to go on the amazing, just, wow, ride, then I would always ride it. The problem, there's only one issue with this ride, and that is the wait. So the waits are always long. Seriously, the waits are never like a five-minute wait. They're always that long. Still amazing. I love this ride. So yeah, back to you, Mario. Thanks. Thanks, other Mario. So, yes. Simpson Rides are our favorite ride. What do you think about your favorite attraction in the park? You, to be fair, we'll, when we go to Orlando during Thanksgiving break, we'll probably also make a video filming at the place. So, we'll probably also make a video filming at the place. So, we, it's a good I'm going to have so much fun at the park, and I'm going to go there in two more months, so just, go, go, wait, I, I, I can't wait to ride the Simpson ride again. I love that ride, but, well, see you guys later in the next video. Bye. My next video is actually Zombie Apocalypse 2, which I just mentioned, but still, let's go and do my list. Bye.